Hello there all you beautiful people and welcome to today's video. I am Daniel Friendly in the game Viking and in today's video we will visit Cyberpunk Neo Barcelona as we dive into the alpha demo of Aeon Drive from two awesome studios. So if you love speedrunning action platformers with a twist or if you just casually like to play these games just like I do then I will do my best to explain and show you the most I can before the game is released this year on PC and consoles. Sounds like fun? Then you know what to do. Grab a cup with your favorite drink. This is coffee by the way and let's dive into some gameplay. All right, let's go with Aeon Drive. I got my controller ready. I hope you are ready. This is going to be totally awesome. I'm really psyched for this one. So let's see. Uh, dimension FD52, our Earth. Looks crazy, by the way. Shit happens, especially when you're running away. <laughs> yes, into unknown dimension. So here we come with Jacqueline. And we get shot down by Earth. Captain Jacqueline, we lost the dimension engine course. If they go critical, the chain reaction will. Yeah. Vera is her name. The little cubey thing there. And we're gonna land in. What did I tell you? Barcelona. I love what they've done with Barcelona, by the way. It looks really nice compared to. Yeah, way to make an entrance. I need to get up. Must hurry. And Vera says we need to find those cores, stabilize them before they blow up. No stress there, right? Normal Monday. And Earth sends evil things that sap us. Yeah, that hurt. That hurt big time. I'm sorry, but I have no time to explain. Only seconds before everyone on the planet die. I must reach the course. It's going to be a wild ride. And indeed, it's going to be... Let's see how we learn how to play this game. Ah, they have little machines there that tell us how to jump. And let's do that and see if we can find some weapons. My weapons were conveniently left here. That's security. Yeah. So that's the dimensional dagger, I think it's called. And the thing that made me really want to play this game. Because it looks so cool when... Of course, you find the button. There we go. And I will show you. <laughs> no, no, no hitting. Don't press all the buttons. And why didn't I read the tutorial before? And let's see if we can find. There we go. And how do we teleport? There we go. Ah, looks so beautiful. But yeah, this is Jacqueline we are playing. And this event is happening right after the one called Dimension Drive. Dimension Drive is the first game from the developer released in 2017 seems like we have an enemy here to kill and uh, we need to uh, not jump we need to get that thing up in the air how do we do that though come on hit it there we go oh look at that and slide 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 there we go Okay, now of course I will make no more mistakes because now I know where all the button is. And that is our handy teleport. And now the Neo Synth Way kind of intro hits us. And I love it. Almost like Outrun. In the way the music wise, not the location. Too late, we'll never make it. So Vera tells us that we, we're called Jack. Short for Jack. Uh, and we have 30 seconds every round to make it to the end of the level. If we die or fail, it will restart. These little things we pick up, we can actually buy ourselves a little bit more time if we are pressed for time, which we're gonna be. But I'm talking as I'm playing, so I would need extra time, by the way. Five, four, three. I want to do it without them. Come on. Uh, no, we died. We will do it again. And now you see that mechanic. But you can play it solo, or you eventually gonna be able to play it with friends. Hopefully the couch co-op kind of way or over Steam. I don't know how crazy it looks if all four people play at the same time, but it would be really interesting to see. Uh, is there something hiding up here? I always want to see. See, show me your secrets. No secrets. Let's just let's just run out of time instead. Jump down here. Whee! Yep. That is a start fresh with a lot of seconds on our hands. So let's go. 
I think slide is probably faster. Oh, and not falling down is also faster, I heard. And dying is the fastest way. But yeah, you get the idea. Move fast, do it good, jump perfectly, throw your dagger, and reap the pot of it. Uh, or just get to go on the first level and yeah as you can see if you visit my channel before you know I don't play a lot of uh, platformers with speed running capabilities because I'm I talk at the same time as I play and those two but is not the biggest or greatest combination but this sign over here at the lamppost says hot dogs this way so let's go there it doesn't love a good hot dog so where are my hot dogs though oops uh oops yep yeah. yeah that's a good thing to know if you leave your dagger hanging somewhere run away and press the b button you will die no you will return to the location of it until she recalls it but yeah no. <laughs> oh, sorry uh, that was not planned but yeah, you get an idea. Maybe I'm the wrong kind of person to play these games because I don't get frustrated, I just laugh. Oops, come on, let me go up there. Almost like a fast Spider-Man with a sword. Yep, yeah, I could probably teleport through those teeth kind of thing. Uh, I've been to Barcelona, I don't remember they had teeth everywhere. There we go. Extra time. Not needed though, but still. So, do we want to talk about the gear? I can see the leaderboard is empty. That means I won, probably. No, it is not. It's an alpha, people. Uh, let's go the high ground. Anakin's worst place to be, and that he hates. Probably the one that takes most time also, because you get probably a lot more death. Yep, yeah. but we have a power sword, as you have seen. We have a teleportation dagger, if you prefer that one. And we have the unique skill to control time. You can buy yourself some extra seconds. And right now, I'm going through these, just because it looks awesome. Don't... <laughs> I was about to say, don't press the button, Dan, and I did it. So, yeah. Come here, flying thing. But yeah, we're, we're supposed to be able to teleport through lasers and saws and uh, saws, yes, and spikes, called spikes. And so far, I think it's beautiful synthway pixel art. Uh, we can't kill blades or destroy them, so prepare to land on one. I will probably do it in T minus ten seconds. <laughs> Taste that one. Whew. Looking good, looking good. Six seconds, that's amazing. But yeah, it's a game a lot about competing against friends and other ones. They have integrations with Discord and Steam leaderboards and other things. So I think it's gonna be real fun if you like to play this a lot of time and then beat your friends and humiliate them. That's a good thing. Don't challenge me though, you will probably win because I die. But these kind of games, I've always been fascinated by them. Uh, recently I played both a game called Lone Fungus and uh, Haiku the Robot. And I like the f fluid motion. Not dying though. Uh, sorry. Uh, I like the fluid motion you can get in these kind of games with uh, when you really land those jumps and get that dagger like here the dagger to... i'm not gonna jump there if you thought i would jump to my death right i will wait patiently uh, i have a lot of time and i go for me it reminds me a little bit of when i played a lot of quake 2 and quake 3 because the most fun part besides playing with friends was actually uh, trick jumping on those maps I could spend a lot of hours doing just that. This game feels like it's on a really good level for both speedrunning expert and a little more casual players like. 
but I can still get to the goal and it's not an insane challenge on these at least and it's good bite-sized little challenges all the time and be careful with the replay button I have a tendency to press that one but this is unedited so let's keep it that way this way is probably the worst way for me I'm gonna yeah I will take the low ground with a slide slide dash run dash smack jump teleport yes and how do we pass this one can we slide no we split our hair our head on poor Jacqueline so let's try it with a run slide yeah that's I was about to say that's the flow I was looking for and then I died of course uh, this alpha demo by the way I haven't played the I died again I haven't played the previous installment of this one I think it was a demo out before if you see any new maps you haven't seen before good for you they are all new to me and if we stay here now no if we stay here jump to our death that's how this game works and it's you can see it's speed momentum and no time for breaks I haven't had more coffee yet though. Hopefully I will get it if I manage to land this one. I have a plan. Look at this one. Boom! And here. Go. Go to go. I want coffee. And you should take some coffee too, dear viewer. That was not what I was expecting. But the controls feels amazing. Really quick. Uh, the blade... Uh, it's really quick when you press the button. Oh, that. And there we go. I almost feel like flash. Now we're not gonna die for this one. And I want some coffee, so let's do it quick. Cheers. There we go. Ramblas hideout. They all have some pretty names. There are zombies in the background getting shot. Bounce. Bounce platformers. Probably we will see. Ooh, 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 ooh. Probably we will soon see. I was about to say the disappearing platforms. But usually games like this have, you know, bouncing platforms, disappearing platforms, and other ones that disappear when you stand on them. Also, let's see if we can see them all. Spot them all today. Ooh, ooh that was short and easy. That was, must be the biggest time I had left so far but i'm digging the music hope you're doing it too so what do you think about the game so far dear viewer let me know in the comments below if this is a game you'd like to try out oh there we go and now we jump over down no, it's down here all right see don't just jump to your death area eight it's gonna be fun to see actually when it's released we can see what time i will get in these kind of maps yep yeah, there's the disappearing he said and fell to his death by walking off the platform let's see if it's something up here no nothing hiding there but they, let's reset the time It's over and over and I landed at the one and that one disappeared and I died. Two disappearing platforms so far. Let's get him. That one and smack. We will skip that one. Smack that one with the teleport to Shim blade. Jump up. Go there. Ooh. Almost felt fluently. I wonder if what other enemies we will run into eventually. Shooting enemies, perhaps. Oh, pressed for time. Eh, not even close. Getting a little bit cocky. As you can see, the loading thing there to read the buttons is a little bit short. Ooh, hello. Okay, so you can stand on the, those kind of weapons. You can actually stand on without dying normally. Uh, or sometimes you can't even occupy the same location as the weapon shooting you. Look at that. We've probably done that one directly. 
little chicken jump here waiting for that platform. Uh, pressed for time, but we did it. It is also a part of, I think it's called the Gorilla Collective over there at Steam. So you can check that one out. I will leave a link in the description, of course. Next map. Oof. I, of course, meant to do that. I, uh, I, ooh, I could have jumped through there and got that gem. I haven't figured out gem yet what the gem does, but it will probably be clear in no time. There we go. Okay, new map, new adventures. Going for the lower part of the map. I almost feel like I'm in a little flow here. I'm totally meant to do that, by the way. Trick me with that. <laughs> Trick me with a disappearing platform. Let's go there again. Exciting to play this game. I managed to bounce and do that again and of course I could have just edited out all my death but what fun is that to see, not see the challenge <laughs> try to trick me there fool me once game don't fool me twice please all right what's up next Ooh, a new kind of wall what is this aha uh -huh. Ooh, do you hear how fast you can press the sword button attack so you, he hits like I don't know what a windmill they were pretty slow though uh, uh, souped up windmill there we go teleport yes almost like Castlevania kind of look on these levels let's see if he shows up Reminds me I have to see the rest of the new season of Castlevania on Netflix, by the way. I haven't seen the full uh, season yet. So no spoilers, please. And don't teleport back like I did there, okay? Oof, oof, oof. Smooth. Now what? Yeah. Uh, it, he's just waiting down there for me. Okay. Look at that. Yeah, and now I know what I'm doing. He boldly said. And teleported. Not to his death this time. In this Castlevania. Spider. Ooh, ooh. No. <laughs> Tricky one. Oops. Alright. Ooh, look at that moon back there and the, all the flying cars. The graphics are amazing. Sorry you don't have so much time to enjoy it though, because you have to move fast. Look at that. It's probably pretty slow, but I feel fast as lightning. Hey, it's Dan here again. Uh, just a quick reminder. You can play it solo or if you want to play it with up to four friends. It's under, it's 100 levels to play. I think it's a really fun game to play. Even if, even if you're not interested in the speedrunning part, it's a really fun game to play. And for me, the teleporting dagger is one of the most awesome game mechanics in this game. But you know what? Let's not end this journey here. We talked about the gameplay, the story, the soundtrack. And what will you get if you decide to buy this game when it's out on PC and consoles this year? So, to give you a chance to experience even more amazing indie games, I have added another video that I think that you will love to the upcoming end screen. So I will see you there. Until next time, stay safe and stay awesome.